In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> but... <laughs> Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. Hello, we're back. Um, Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats? It's, it's that easy. Shut up, you disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. I want to do this monologue and then go into hiding, OK? Not even Sean Penn will find me. <laughs> Snitch. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. With all these rich, beautiful celebrities having the time of their lives. Let's hope no one spoils that. Yeah. Relax, I'm going to try and be nice. You're global megastars with amazing talent, most of you. A few of you just married well. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> we, we all do, we all do. So, <laughs> I am going to be nice tonight and I'll tell you why. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press just told me that if I say anything offensive or crass or resort to innuendo, he is going to come out here and personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the level. An old man pulling me off. <laughs> Again. Um, at least Jeffrey Tambor did it in a dress. Um, what a year he's had. Oh, what an actor, what a role. It, uh, no, it's... <laughs> Every day he has to put on all the women's clothes and the hair and makeup and let people film it. That takes balls. So, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. I've seen these balls, they're huge and long. <laughs> I don't know if he tucks them in the bra or does that thing when you push them out the back and let them hang out. Like a bulldog? No one knows. <laughs> I love Jeffrey Tambor. I don't know if that's because he's such a great actor or because he reminds me of my nan. <laughs> We're live on NBC and it's right that NBC hosts this award show because they're the only network who are truly fair and impartial. And that's because they're the only network with zero nominations. <laughs> so nothing in it for them tonight. They don't care who... They don't care, obviously. <laughs> but as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> You can't have everything, can you? Not at the same time. Anyway. So what's happened this last year in this crazy business we called show? The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. The, uh, the Catholic Church are furious about the film as it exposes the fact that 5% of all their priests have repeatedly molested children and being allowed to continue to work without punishment. Roman Polanski called it the best date movie ever. <laughs> One Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars would stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe. Particularly if their film company has already paid for it. The Hollywood Foreign Press deemed The Martian a comedy and even nominated it. 
and hence Matt Damon is here tonight. So that worked a treat, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> to be fair, The Martian was a lot funnier than Pixels. Uh, <laughs> but then again, so was Shinder's List. It's just a film. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood, and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, how the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? This is... There were plumbers around the world going, Poor girl in town, I'm lucky now. So, but joking aside, of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year for hosting this. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, that's their stupid fault. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios, because they get guaranteed box office results, and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So... <laughs> Shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, if you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, OK? <laughs> Don't get emotional, it's embarrassing, okay? <laughs> that award is, no offence, worthless. <laughs> it's a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists <laughs> wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you, okay? <laughs> That's all it is. I've got three. I've got three Golden Globes myself, so I can say, one's a doorstop, one I used to hit burglars with, and one I keep by the bed to... Doesn't matter why, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. I won it fair and square. It's just the right shape and size. It's nothing... <laughs> yeah, so to be clear, that was a joke about me shoving Golden Globes. That I've won up my ass. <laughs> and they asked me to host four times! Good <laughs> Jesus! Let's do the show, shall we? <laughs> On a serious note, the Golden Globes are about excellence. To win one, you have to do something amazing. Neither of our first two presenters have won a Golden Globe. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing here, really, but I don't choose the guests. Please welcome the fantastic Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Welcome back. The Golden Globes doesn't have an in-memoriam section to get you all depressed. Instead, we let the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press say a few words. <laughs> Please welcome Lorenzo Soria. Our next presenter uh, is the star of the hilarious comedy The Martian. Oh, he nearly died. Right. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Welcome back. Joy and Trainwreck. No, not the names of Charlie Sheen's two favourite hookers. The films of our next two presenters. They're best friends, by the way. They wanted me to tell you that. But, uh, and if you forget, they said they'd, they'd tweet you and remind. Basically, they'll come round and shout you through. They're best friends. It's like they've never had a friend before. Please welcome Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. This show is way too long, isn't it? It's way too. This could be half an hour. This one was in the writer's strike when they just read the winners and just... <laughs> OK. Let's get through it. 
Right. Unbelievable. Some people still think this award means something. The winners, just listen to me. Listen, it doesn't just... Right. When Brad and Angelina see our next two adorable little presenters, they're going to want to adopt them. Please welcome Kevin Hart and Ken Jeong. OK. Right, listen, this is... Shush. Just shut up, really, seriously. Right. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mel Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavoury things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. <laughs> Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. <laughs> Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mal's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. <laughs> I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so... Oh, yeah, OK, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please welcome Mal Gibson. You filth, all of it. I went back. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to the Golden Globes. Winslet, I told you, do a Holocaust movie, the awards come, didn't I? <laughs> See? <clears throat> Trouble is with Holocaust films, there's never any gag reel on the DVDs. I, I don't know, there isn't. It's, uh, now, don't do it, it'll be fine. Don't. <laughs> You've got a worse one. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Um, I'll get on with it. I can't believe I'm not nominated. I met the Hollywood Foreign Press. They're all over me. Oh, we love Ghost Town. Not enough, obviously. Brilliant. <laughs> what a waste of a campaign. That is the last time I have sex with 200 middle-aged journalists. Um, <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> really. A lot of them didn't even speak English. Um, Europeans with wispy beards. The men were worse. Shush, come on. Um... Good evening, I'm Tina Fey. And I'm Amy Poehler. Welcome, everyone, to the 70th Annual Golden Globe Awards. Yes! Yes! of you at home, I wish you could feel the excitement in this room. You can smell the pills from here. <laughs> Tonight, we honor the television shows that have entertained us all year, as well as the films that have only been in theaters for two days. That's what makes tonight so special. Only at the Golden Globes do the beautiful people of film rub shoulders with the rat-faced people of television. <laughs> Speaking of, Tina and I are also both nominees tonight. And thank you. And Tina, I, um, I just want to say that I, I very much hope that I win. Oh, thank you. You're my nemesis. Thank you. Ricky Gervais could not be here tonight because um, he is no longer technically in show business. <laughs> we want to assure you that we have no intention of being edgy or offensive tonight because, as Ricky learned the hard way, when you run afoul of the Hollywood foreign press, they make you host this show two more times. <laughs> Women in film, Catherine Bigelow nominated tonight. I um, haven't really been following the controversy over Zero Dark Thirty, but when it comes to torture, I trust the lady who spent three years married to James Cameron. <laughs>
the, uh, the beautiful Anne Hathaway is here tonight. <laughs> Anne Hathaway, you gave a stunning performance in Les Miserables. I have not seen someone so totally alone and abandoned like that since you were on stage with James Franco at the Oscars. <laughs> shot her big Les Mis song all in one tight close-up, and she said that it was really difficult performing with a camera so close to her face. Well, then she's never going to make it in porn. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think she uh, has any plans to do porn, Amy. None of us have plans to do porn. <laughs> The Hunger Games was one of the biggest films of the year, and also what I call the six weeks it took me to get into this dress. <laughs> Ang Lee's been nominated for Best Director for The Life of Pi, which is what I'm gonna call the six weeks after I take this dress off. <laughs> okay. Uh, woo, exhausting. Who else is here? Who else? Is Jennifer Lawrence is here, the star of Silver Linings Playbook. Mm -hmm. Quentin Tarantino is here, the star of All My Sexual Nightmares. <laughs> Meryl Streep is not here tonight. She has the flu, and I hear she's amazing in it. <laughs> it's so amazing. She steals it. Yeah. She steals the flu. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Mandy Patinkin from Tough Silliness. Daniel Day Lewis is here. <laughs> performance in Lincoln is so amazing. He is so method. He really disappears into his character. Did you know that Lincoln was not the first role Daniel Day-Lewis played in a Steven Spielberg film? Really? What else did he play? E.T. <laughs> no, he was E.T.? Yes. Young Daniel Day-Lewis was E.T. <laughs> do, do the finger. Do, do the, the E.T. E. E. finger. Do the finger. at home. Uh, we are so happy to be back. We are hosting the Golden Globes for our second time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Because uh, this is Hollywood, and if something kind of works, they'll just keep doing it until everybody hates it. Congratulations to all the wonderful actors nominated tonight, from the amazing Chiwetel Ejiofor to the stunning Lapita Nyong'o to American Treasure, Tam Honks. Damn it, I knew I was gonna screw that up. Folks at home, you would not believe the high wattage, mega A-list stars we are looking at right now. I mean, no offense to the movies and nominees last year, but yeah. this year is legit. This one's good. This year's good. This, this goes year's right good. to the top. Yeah, we got Brad. The point is, there are so many stars in this room tonight, it's hard not to be overwhelmed. Yes, Matt Damon is here for Behind the Candelabra. Where are you, Matt? Matt, on any other night in any other room, you would be a big deal, but tonight, and don't take this the wrong way, you're basically a garbage person. <laughs> Here. She's. Yeah. Meryl Streep, so brilliant in August Osage County, proving that there are still great parts in Hollywood for Meryl Streep's over 60. Bradley <laughs> Cooper is here, star of American Hustle. trivia, the original title of that movie was Explosion at the Wig Factory. <laughs> Who else? Um, Who else is here? Oh, Amy Poehler is nominated for her work on Parks and Recreation. I, uh, I believe Amy is here tonight. Can we get a shot of her? She looks uh, fantastic. She's a 42-year-old mother of two. Although I hear Amy's a little different.
difficult to work with. Oh, yeah, she's a straight up bitch. Um, our friend Julia Louis Dreyfus has two nominations tonight. One for Veep and for her first film nomination for Enough Said. Interestingly, Julia has chosen to sit in the film section tonight. Huh. Huh. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. You know us from TV. Hi. Change. She's gross. Gravity is nominated for Best Film. It's the story of how George Clooney would rather float away into space and die than spend one more minute with a woman his own age. Captain Phillips, Barkhad Abdi was working as a limousine driver in Minnesota. There, there's such a beautiful life lesson here, everyone. Sleep with your limo driver tonight before he gets famous. One of my favorite films this year is the movie Her, mm -hmm. which, uh, yeah. which takes place takes place in the not so distant future, which is perfect because so does Joaquin Phoenix. Tina, I was in that movie too. I was the voice of the computer. No, Amy, that was Scarlett Johansson. Was it? It was. <laughs> if you say so. Matthew McConaughey did amazing work this year. Buyers Club, he lost 45 pounds, or what actresses call being in a movie. <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street is a big nominee tonight, and yes. I, I really love the film, but some of it was too graphic. I mean, if I wanted to see Jonah Hill masturbate at a pool party, I'd go to one of Jonah Hill's pool parties. <laughs> nominated films this year is 12 Years a Slave. I loved 12 Years a Slave and I can honestly say that after seeing that film, I will never look at slavery the same way again. Wait, how were you looking at And what a year for television. A lot of nominated shows tonight are on actually on Netflix. This Beautiful Carrie Washington is here. She's expecting... She's expecting her first child later, later this year. Oh my God, is it President Fitzis? Probably. I thought Amanda was carrying his baby. <gasps> Many of our SNL friends did great work this year. Will Forte, Andy Samberg. You, uh, you might know Andy from his hit song, I'm on a Boat, which this year was adapted into the Tom Hanks film, Captain Phillips. <laughs> Masters of Sex is the degree I got from Boston College. The Blacklist is who is invited to my room tonight. Talking to you, Somali pirates. I am the captain now. show done in three hours, or as Martin Scorsese calls it, Act One. <laughs> Please welcome... Good evening, good evening, and welcome, you bunch of despicable, spoiled, minimally talented brats. Yes. We are so happy to be here hosting the 72nd and final Golden Globe Awards. Tonight, we celebrate all the great television shows that we know and love, as well as all the movies that North Korea was okay with. <laughs> the, uh, 
That's right. The biggest story in Hollywood this year was when North Korea threatened an attack if Sony Pictures released the interview, forcing us all to pretend we wanted to see it. North Korea referred to the interview as absolutely intolerable and a wanton act of terror. Even more amazing, not the worst review the movie got. So who's here tonight, Tina? Oh, so many great so stars. So many good stars. Oprah is here. Woo! Yes, exciting. She has put, she's put a cranberry candle under all of your seats. Reese Witherspoon is here. So great in the movie Wild. She did all of her own walking, so brave. And, and Andy Serkis was great as your backpack. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is here, or as Matthew McConaughey calls him, just Keith Simmons. <laughs> Christoph Waltz and Amy Adams are here. They were so great in Big Eyes. Oh, in fact, yes, they were. And in fact, one of those famous Big Eye paintings is on display tonight. Oh. Let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> It's cute, but it's creepy. Yeah, the eyes do follow you. No. Joaquin Phoenix is nominated for Inherent Vice, but obviously he isn't here tonight uh, because he has said publicly that award shows are, quote, total and utter bullshit. Oh, hey, Joaquin. There he is. <laughs> Steve Carell is here tonight for Foxcatcher. In Foxcatcher, Steve Carell plays a paranoid, murderous billionaire, and the role was a stretch for Carell, who in real life is a paranoid, murderous millionaire. <laughs> Steve Carell's Foxcatcher look took two hours to put on, including his hairstyling and makeup. Just for comparison, uh, it took me three hours today to prepare for my role as human woman. <laughs> Jennifer Anderson is here tonight, nominated for the film Cake. And um, uh, we should explain to all the people in the mm. room, uh, the Hollywood people, cake is like a, it's like a fluffy dessert right. that people eat on their birthdays. Oh, and uh, birthdays are like a thing people celebrate when they admit that they have aged. You know what else is weird? So many British actors played Americans this year. Yes, and I, for one, don't mind it. I love the sound of a British actor doing an American accent. I like when they talk like this. I can't tell that they're British when they are speaking in our movie parts. Wes Anderson is here tonight for the film Grand Budapest Hotel. Wes arrived on a bicycle made of antique tuba parts. <laughs> George Clooney married Amal Alamuddin this year. Amal is a human rights lawyer who worked on the Enron case, was an advisor to Kofi Annan regarding Syria, and was selected for a three-person UN commission investigating rules of war violations in the Gaza Strip. So tonight, her husband is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. time that we are hosting, Tina yes. and I wanted to very quickly play one of our favorite games. Yes, and Amy and I have been friends for almost 50 years, and the secret of our long-lasting friendship is that we have absolutely no overlap in our taste in men. No, we never think the same man is attractive, and we'll prove it right now by doing what you're all doing at home, playing a game of who would you rather. Yeah, it's real quick. So, real quick, okay. real quick. Okay. Would you rather... Colin Farrell or Colin Firth? Okay, uh, Farrell, all day. Firth, for a polite amount of time. <laughs> okay, uh, Tina, next, uh, Ed Norton or Mark Ruffalo? Ooh, oh, which one was the Hulk? 
both of them. Shoot! Ah. Uh, okay, I'll take Norton because he's like method and he could act like he was into it. Okay. And I'll take Mark because everybody knows I like a ruffalo. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Chris Pine. Or... Chris Pine. Okay. I'm sorry. Was that too loud? Was that too loud? Okay. Moving on. Okay. Um, Richard Linklater or Alejandro Inaritu. Hmm. I'm gonna say in your read two. One take, mm. two hours straight, no stopping. No. <laughs> Link later, five minutes once a year. <laughs> we never, never agree. agree. We never agree. We never agree. But, but you know what? Let's talk about these great movies. Yes. The Theory of Everything. Wonderful movie this year. Yes. It combines the two things that audiences love, a crippling nerve disease and super complicated math. Yeah. <laughs> Selma. In the 1960s, thousands of black people from all over America came together with one common goal, to form Sly and the Family Stone. <laughs> but the movie Selma is about the American civil rights movement that totally worked and now everything's fine. <laughs> was a real big hit this year. Yeah, Gone Girl. I don't, you know, I don't know, Tina, I didn't like Gone Girl. I go to the movies to escape. I don't want to just see myself up there on the screen. You know, Tyler Perry was so good in Gone Girl that he has actually been asked to write and direct a sequel called Girl, I Thought You Were Gone. <laughs> Into the Woods stars Meryl Streep. a witch who sends the townspeople on a magical quest to collect the items she needs to win another golden globe. <laughs> Amy, have you, uh, have you ever done any Sondheim? No, I haven't, but I could. Anybody can. <laughs> Into the woods. It's a weird word to sing, I'm not gonna lie to you. In Into the Woods, Cinderella runs from her prince, Rapunzel is thrown from a tower for her prince, and Sleeping Beauty just thought she was getting coffee with Bill Cosby. You know, actually, um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this on the news today, but Bill Cosby has finally spoken out about the allegations against him. Cosby admitted to a reporter, I put the pills in the people! The people did not want the pills in them! No, Tina, that, hey, that's not right. That's not right. It's more like, I got the pills in the bathroom, but I put them in the people. You're right. It's, it's, it's got to be like, I put the pills in the hoagie. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's fair. That seems fair. But finally, Tina, let's talk about television. Oh, I'm, I'm being told that we are running out of time. Our apologies, oh. television. You got fun. So sorry. Come back tomorrow. Okay. So let's get started. Are you guys ready to have some fun tonight? We know what you guys are thinking. Andy Samberg and Sandra Oh, the two nicest people in showbiz, this thing's gonna be a snoop. But not so fast, because you fools are all about to get roasted. Gervais style. Mm -hmm. Hope you're wearing your flip flops, Hollywood, because we're about to scorch some earth. Damn right, rip it, Andy. All right, who we got, who we got? Well, if it isn't Spike Lee, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Do the Right Thing, yeah. Well, I'll tell you who does the right thing. You, as a director, lifetime fan, can't wait to see what you do next. Bam, face. Brutal. Destroyed. All right, Sandra, hit him. Hey, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> you are hot. Damn! This is live on television. No take backs. All right, who else we got? Um, Andy, uh, that's weird. Gina Rodriguez is here. Uh-huh. Yeah, why is that weird, Sandra? Because last time I checked, she resided in heaven. What? Sandra O, oh, more like Sandra O oh, snap. Andy Samberg, more like Andy Slams nerds. Ooh, I love that. What else? Who else? Oh, I got one. <laughs> A Star is Born, starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, is nominated for Best Motion Picture Drama. Yes. And their performances were incredible. And it just proves, and I, I'm just coming up with this now, 
that there can be 100 people in the room yeah. and 99 don't believe in you and you just need one to believe in you. <laughs> and that was Bradley Cooper. Sandra, I couldn't agree with you more. I was just thinking, you know, totally off the cuff, there could be 100 people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and you just need one to believe in you. And that, quite frankly, was Bradley Cooper. So true, so true. Yeah. Crazy Rich Asians made over $200 million at the box office. Said Asian moms everywhere. <laughs> cut to my mom. Someone should cut to my mom right now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, say, yeah. She didn't seem so impressed. Oh. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody was a massive hit this year. Rami Malek uh, wore Freddie Mercury's teeth throughout the entire film. Yeah, can you imagine how hard that must have been? I mean, first of all, you have to get the family's permission to exhume the body. I don't even know where you would begin with that conversation. Oh, they weren't? Oh, really? Well, I'm sure it's still hard. Claire Foy is nominated for her work in First Man. Yeah. First Man is also how studios look for directors. First Man! If no man available, then pair of man. Then team of man. Then eventually, maybe woman? Yeah. <laughs> Shockingly accurate. Yeah. Uh, there are some amazing television shows nominated tonight. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is nominated again for multiple yes. awards. Yes. It's the show that makes audiences sit up and say, wait, is this anti-Semitic? <laughs> Darren Chris of Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is here. What else? Jim Carrey is nominated for his show, Kidding. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I gotta say, I knew Jim Carrey's paintings, but I had no idea he had done acting. He was really good. Although I am seeing that Jim Carrey's sitting up front tonight in the movie section, even though he's nominated for a TV show. Ooh, yeah, that's mm. not gonna work. I'm so sorry, Jim, but we're gonna have to ask you to vacate the movie section and go sit with the TV folk. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. But you're on Kidding, and that's on TV, so... Yeah, it's awkward, because you're a hero, but we do have to ask you to move. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I just finished a film. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog. Comes out in November. Oh. Well, you know, come back next year. I'm sure it'll be nominated. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Should I take my dinner, too? I wouldn't want to leave any of my DNA in the film section. Yeah, yeah. Jim. Please, don't make this any harder than it already is. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I see your lips moving, but there's a delay. <laughs> Takes a long time for the sound to get this far. Yeah. Now, Thank you, Jim. It. Thank you, Thank we appreciate you. it. Now, I, I know we're up here joking, but on a serious note, this year we saw incredible work like Black Panther, Crazy Rich Asians, If Beale Street Could Talk, Roma, Pose, Black Klansmen, and many more. And they're not just here tonight because they resonated with audiences Hollywood often ignores. They're here because they told stories that resonated with everyone, and that is truly a beautiful thing. Wow, Andy, can I just say, that you just read all of my lines off the teleprompter. What? No, those are mine. Here, let me keep going. When I was growing up in Canada, the daughter of Korean immigrants, okay, you know what, you were right. That was totally your stuff. Oh my God, I just totally whitewashed your speech. This is how it happens. That's not how it happens. What an amazing learning experience for me. Okay, we should stop talking. You got it. The 76 Golden Globes, it's often very funny. 
But there have also been so many meaningful moments that have inspired us over the years. Let's take a look at some of the best now. Andy Samberg. Sandra Oak. We said they inspired us. Yeah, if you guys want to see yourselves up there, you host. We gave up our Christmas for this. We didn't even see our families. Anyway, she doesn't know this, but I once watched our next presenter eat a salad at M Cafe on Melrose. Please welcome executive producer of Green Book, Octavia Spencer. Our next presenters are all stars on the hit NBC show, This Is Us. So break out the tissues because you're going to want to masturbate to all of them. Please welcome Justin Harley, Chrissy Metz, and Golden Globe winner Sterling K. Brown. Our distinct honor <laughs> to be presenting tonight in the category of best performance by an actress in a motion picture, comedy, or musical. And this year, the Golden Globes has asked if each presenter would watch all of the films in their category to have an appreciation of these amazing performances, which I did. I totally watched them. Did you? Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's only five, five films. films. It's only five it's films. Crazy. So you, you, you just watch them. You em. sit down, you pop them in, and you watch them. It's not did. a big deal. It's not a big deal. Oh my and, gosh. And these. wow, these performances. Oh my gosh. The, uh, <laughs> these performances. The Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. Salmon, Salmon fishing. fishing. In the Yemen. Emily Blunt, always Emily beautiful, Bl beautiful, always amazing. And when the salmon, salmon are coming out, comes out. and they and, then, and, the, and the when the bad guy when comes, the bad and, guy that comes like, and the salmon's like, <laughs> and you and know, you're in Yemen, and you're in Yemen, <laughs> and Judy, Judy Dench, Dench, where did she come from? I. Unknown. Amazing. She used to be a police officer, and her first movie, first movie, Best, Best Exotic, Exotic Marigold, Marigold Hotel, oh and gosh. she comes into and, town. And, and she's on that tractor, that tractor and the, the marigolds, marigolds everywhere. Are just in her hair. And she, and, and she comes in that she, one scene. Oh, you know that she scene. Looks she looks at the town people, people, and, she's and like, she says, you, 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 you get, get out of here. here. Get out. Um, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, my gosh. Love Silver, Jennifer Lawrence. J Law. Oh, love J -Law. her. Silver lining. Playbook. Oh Playbook. my gosh. And the, the silver. silver. I thought it was an animated I know, film. The silver that she's, she's collected. collected. She's and over that, time. And they try to take it and she and comes in. And she says, in. no, that's she's, my cookbook. Yes. And she comes in and she. she oh, she she's says, like, you get out of here. You get out. Oh, she, she means, means it. it. Mag Maggie, Maggie Smith, Smith in, in, in the, the cordit. cordit. And the cordit. no one knows no one what the cordit it. is. <laughs> and it's ambiguous. And you're like, you think you know you're, what it is, and, and then, then that guy comes. comes. And he's like, I think I, think I, know, I know where what the cordit is. is. But he doesn't. <laughs> and I, what does that say? Mar I don't, Mariel. Mariel Street. Mariel Street. Mariel Street. <laughs> Hope, Hope Springs, Springs, and oh she's, the she she sassy she's the sassy sheriff. sassy sheriff. <laughs> I'm oh. Hope Springs. And, oh, oh, Southern, that accent. Sand. And that and, old, oh, and that town. The town. She comes in she on the horse. She comes in on the scene, horse. And the oh, scene. scene. And she, where she looks at the town people. You, you, you get, get out of here, here you are. You get out of here. Once again, here are the nominees. 
from salmon fishing in the Yemen. This looks like really amazing movies. Yeah, we didn't, none of those clips like, looked familiar to me. Um, Kill me. We're nearly done. Jesus. Three, it's already. Right, um, last one, last one. Come on, guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Please welcome Sandra Bullock. <laughs>